Hey there guys, it's your good pal, Lily, and welcome back to more Let's Play Yakuza 0 Blind. In the last episode, we uh, started doing a whole bunch of booty calls at the telephone club, and in this episode, we're going to be doing more of that because it seems like there are a lot of sub-stories attached to it. Uh, but first, I want to go ahead, I don't want to fight you, and check on our, uh, our business section here, uh, continuing on with Real Estate Royale, and I think that in between each call... Uh, each new sub-story is when I'm going to go uh, refresh on this because I want to keep up a uh, steady progress, but I don't want to do it all too quickly. Uh, a friend at a Discord server recommended that I take care of two of them in this chapter, and I think that that is probably a good pace, so we will be doing just that. And I'll meet you guys over there when these guys leave me alone. Oh god, there's more. And I have finally S-ranked every single shop in the Leisure King area, so we are now making um, pretty much optimal money, though obviously I could probably be using better managers and security and whatnot, but um, this is going to provide us a pretty steady source of income. Uh, profit forecast is like 63 mil, so that's pretty nice. Oh, you've done it, Mr. President. We've taken over 30% of the Electronic Kings area. Excellent. Let's keep increasing our share. Yeah, speaking of which, what can you tell me about this Electronics King guy? If I remember correctly, he looked like an otaku. Mm. The Electronics King is the member of the five billionaires who controls the area around Nakamichi Street, right next door. He apparently has an IQ of 190, wow, and he made his fortune by developing and investing in cutting-edge technology. Well, that is a lot more respectable than Pachinko, <laughs> I will say that much. An IQ of 190, that's something. Never would have guessed it from the look of him. Yeah. That's not the only surprise. He's also supposed to be quite good at fighting, despite appearances. Really? Definitely using some sort of boosting technology or something, no doubt. The word is that a bunch, a, a bunch of young thugs who considered that area to be their turf fought the Electronics King, but wound up joining his crew instead. So he's got brains, brawn, and a gang for when those fail. Yeah. yeah, since we'll be making moves on their territory, we'll probably wind up clashing with them often. So the Electronics King managed to tame a bunch of young thugs, and he's got an IQ of 190. I better watch out. Definitely seems <laughs> a step up from the, uh, the Leisure King, who was definitely not going to be winning this war anyway. So, But now he's on our side. And uh, if that trend continues, we'll have all five of them on our side by the end, which would be pretty great. Ooh! Oh, okay, I can actually do, like, do grab options with them off the ground, and he gets stunned. I wonder what happens if I do a heat action out of that. Maybe it's different. Yep, it is definitely different. Ooh. <laughs> Not the greatest, but it was pretty cool. I liked it. Okay, this is definitely one that we haven't seen before. Um, you have a lovely voice, ma'am. If I can actually hit it. Uh, uh. Please? Hello? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, well this is... This is definitely a different girl. Uh, that's not what I expected. Um, I wonder if you can tell by the, uh, the background which girl you're going to get, or if it's just the voice. I don't quite know how this works, but the two that we got before both had the same, the same like model in the back and the same prompts and responses, but their voices were different. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how this works, but tell me about your body, ma'am. Good God. <laughs> It's a very personal question, and you answered it very personally. <laughs> How does she make me feel raunchy, resentful, relaxed? That's probably the best one. Oh shit, okay. Yes, I did. Wow. <laughs> They're so aggressive. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, I'm nervous. I'm gonna show this off because it's like a new set of prompts, so. Or it's really not a new set of prompts, it's like a new set of responses. Uh, young baby ferrets, your best feature. Oh, come on. 
What happens if you take too long to shoot it? Does it does it actually like time out or do you have to like run out your entire clock for that to happen? Also, the rotating the stick and letting it go to fire thing is really weird. Charm point? <laughs> Okay, uh, what is your face like? Which is a weird question to ask, but okay. I, re I really do not like these responses, they kind of weird me out, but... Alright. So <laughs> then. I'll give her a compliment. Um, fungal toenail. Oh, I tried to snipe it. Funnel cake. You're as sweet as a funnel cake, baby. Good God. Let's do that. Any ideas for a date? Uh, Kataoke. Always Kataoke. Even though I doubt we're gonna go to Kataoke in the substory. Hell yeah. Every girl loves karaoke. Um, I think we're... Oh, come on. I think we're getting along quite well. Very good. Can we meet? Or vegetable, if that's your thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, okay then. Let's go to Karaoke. And I, I don't know. <laughs> this one kind of weirds me out a lot more than the responses from the other girl. For obvious reasons, it's strange, but... Eh, culture shock thing, I guess. We can meet in front of the theater. Alright, but you better be quick. I won't wait for you long. Uh. Don't worry, I'll be there soon. I'm Kiryu, by the way. Aw, what a cool name. Now I'm even more excited. My name is Sakurai. Wasn't there... Wasn't there one, like, one of the cards named Sakurai? What will you be wearing? Something red. And my hair will be done up. You better not mistake me for someone else. Wow. Several years before he created Super Smash Bros. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Red clothes, hair done up. Got it. Okay. Let's try to be smart about this. I really don't want to have to <laughs> to chase down a sub story like that again. This is very familiar. It's the same place. Sakurai might be here. Sakura Shock. Is it playing out just like the other one? Looks like I beat her here. I'll just have to wait. Okay. She's late. I've been waiting a while now. Maybe she's held up in traffic? <laughs> Sorry, did you wait long? Mm. Hello. Is that her? I mean, she asked if I waited long. <coughs> <coughs> oh, damn. Rip. Someone else have the same idea. Sorry I couldn't get here sooner. No, no, I just got here too. It's not her. Or maybe it was and she mistook me. Man, I got totally boondoggled. I went to a telephone club and I thought I scored a hot hookup, but it turns out she was just a Sakura. That's some new slang? Nah, she's just some club shill. She pretends to be a caller to get guys into the club. I thought I had a date, but of course she stood me up. I wasted two hours. <laughs> Oh man, she set you. She sent you up shit, shit creek without a paddle. I shouldn't have stuttered on that, but I did. Welp. Asakura. 
I got played for a fool by a club ringer. A dream scattered like cherry blossoms in the wind. <sighs> and it's not even spring. Nope, it's December, right? If I remember correctly. I think it is. Damn. Fucking catfished. But how, how does that even get people in the club? Yeah, I'm gonna meet you at the theater. Nothing? That makes me want to go to the club. I mean, I, I guess... It's probably, like, nearby to it, maybe? I, I guess I kind of see the strategy, but it's really shitty. <laughs> okay. Let's go again. I'm pretty sure this is a different girl. It's got the same background and the same responses, but... I'm pretty sure this is different. Ooh, okay, Haruki. I'm pretty sure this is the um, the one in the completion list, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, what a cool name. Now I'm even more excited. Oh, and my name's Haruki. What will you be wearing? Something red. My hair will be done up. You better not mistake me for someone else. Okay, but all this part is the same. So I, I think the only way that I can tell them apart is by voice, maybe? I'm, I'm a bit confused as to how this works, but um, I may have to use a, uh, a spoiler-free guide for the first time, if necessary, just for this, just to make sure I don't miss anything here, because I really want to get it all done. She might be here already. The flirty hookup. Hmm? Okay. She said she'd be wearing red with her hair done up. Is that her? Better say hello. Is this a repeat of the other one? Nani? Wait, what? Yeah, this is very similar. There's another woman who also fits the description. Which one is Haruki? Wait and observe. That's different than moving closer. Let's, let's not jump the gun this time. It's too hard to tell which one of these women is her. Maybe they'll look this way eventually, though. On closer inspection, the closer woman is wearing a dress that's more pink than red, correct? The far woman's dress is a little more red than the closer woman. She might be a little on the gaudy side, though. Come on, ladies. Throw me a bone here. Fine, I got time. I can play the waiting game. <laughs> okay... They didn't look my way even once. Um. Let's. I don't know. Observe some more? I still can't tell which is the right girl. I waited this long, though. What's a little longer? Oh. Hey, buddy. What are you up to? On the prowl, are you? I don't have time for him right now. You can't just stare at ladies like a slack jawed country boy, son. No woman would dare make eye contact. How about I show you how it's done? I don't have time for this. Move along, would you? Hey, buddy, don't tell me. You haven't been with a woman before, have you? I literally was last episode. Uh? What did you say? Yikes. <laughs> and they're both gone, aren't they? Back to Haruki. God damn it. Okay. There's no way to actually tell. Damn it, I let myself get these get distracted. Guess that's not happening this time. Fuck. Okay, so it's one of those two. Oh. This is kind of a pain in the ass, not gonna lie. Okay, uh, this one has a blue swimsuit or panties or whatever you want to call it in the background. Uh, which I believe is the color of the girl that we failed at first before we started doing the, um... The one's in white. So, um, let's see what her responses are. I don't recognize her voice. Yeah, I remember that response, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't one that we completed. Okay, um, I work in real estate. So it seems like the responses are grouped by underwear color, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. Yeah, I've never heard that one yet. Describe your body. Do it. I I don't like encouraging this. It's just weird. 
But you guys know by now that this kind of thing puts me off a little bit, so... It is a very weird question. Uh, you seem nice, right there. Big and in the open. Yes, I saw that. Not you, the the prompt. <laughs> you are very welcome. What kind of sports do I like? Uh, baseball is pretty cool. It's actually one of the sports I actually personally enjoy. Being in a baseball stadium in person especially is a vibe. I don't like it enough to, like, follow it on my own time, but it's fun to watch. Definitely. 100%. Are you a man-eater? <laughs> People say your face is small? Short is good. It's not necessarily a preference, but neither is long. Um, keep taking. <laughs> keep walking. Keep on walking, girl. I'm not interested. All right. Oh, uh, nope. Okay, this one's a bitch. Good God. Please. Wow. This is going so poor. Oh, Jesus. What, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. No. 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 Come on, bro. Finally. Good God. <laughs> That's good. Absolutely, someone would. Sure I would. Also, I just realized it's a little... A little rose overlaid over the color and the heart. That's a cool touch. I like that. It's destiny. <laughs> Can we meet? Well, excellent. That's fantastic news. I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to show off the responses just so that you guys can see them. It's pretty much the same shit that we've already seen, but hey. <laughs> We can meet in front of the theater. Okay, that's fine. My name's Kiryu, by the way. My name is Asakura. I'm getting excited thinking of meeting you. She also has Sakura in her name. Which is worrying. What will you be wearing? I'll put on something blue. My hair is short. Is that enough? Blue clothes, short hair. I'll find you no problem. Okay. Sakura might be here already. Uh, this is feeling real familiar. Yep. Looks like I beat her here, I'll just have to wait. Yep. So if they have Sakura in their name, they are a problem. But we've gotten Sakura in blue and Sakura in green, but we haven't gotten Sakura in white. So maybe that exists too, perhaps? She's really late, it's been a while now. Did I get played by a Sakura again? Oh, okay, they actually continue. I'm glad it isn't just a copy paste. Uh, I'll wait a little long, oh, I'll wait a little longer just in case. 
Yup. Waste of time. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> I mean, I would be too. That sucks. Man. Okay. So we know that there's at least two girls per color. I'm I'm making assumptions based off the patterns so far, but we've had we had two whites and then we had two greens and now we have one blue. So let's see if we can get another blue. Okay. This one definitely has a higher pitched voice on the last one and the background is indeed blue. So this tracks with my two girls per color theory thus far. I'm Mire. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, this is another girl. What will you be wearing? I'm wearing blue today. My hair is pretty short. Don't forget, okay? Blue clothes and short hair. Got it. Okay, so this will be our, our not fake girl then, I think. Well, not that the other girls were fake, but they were like comedy sub stories instead of genuine dates. Mire might be here already. Hmm? I wonder what Mire means. I know Mirai means future, but I don't know what Mire means. Okay. Well, she seems to be here, at the very least. Short hair and blue clothes, she said. Is that her? I don't see anyone else. Though this is more reminiscent of the, um... The one from before that had, like... It was, like, an older lady... I think, if I remember correctly, it's been a couple days since I last recorded. There's no one else who might be her. Better introduce myself. Yeah, this is just like the other one, actually, now that I think about it. Are you Mire? Oh, <laughs> I mean, uh. Oh, hello there. You're late, you know. It just wasn't the face I was expecting, but she's not, she's not that bad. Sorry. What happened, schnookums? Did you lose your way? Okay, now it's weird. Yeah, I am starting to feel like I lost my way. <laughs> my, my, you're a little silly, Billy. I think that's cute, though. I is that right? Oh, my, don't tell me. Is she going to notice there's no chemistry here? You're already falling hard for me, I can tell. You can look my way, tough and buff stuff. Yeah. This is so wrong. It's okay, my stud biscuit. We've only just met, and the night is still young. This is about to be a crisis. Shall we go, kitty kitty coon? <laughs> huh? W where? Oh, I like it when you play coy. You know, somewhere hot and sleazy. Okay, so... Yeah. There's been a pattern here. I'll, I'll wait a second. Wait, hold on. I think we should talk about this. We don't need to rush. Ooh, you're so hot when you're flustered. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my health! <laughs> Okay. Oh. That was weird. Okay. See you around, telephone boy. Okay, bye. I feel like I lost something I'll never get back. The rose bed of the telephone club has its thorns. I see that. Uh, that is our 30th Kiryu substory, which means that we have done half of them, which is pretty awesome, and I'm dying now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try my best to explain this because it's kind of complicated, but I went back and I reviewed the footage of the last episode because I'm definitely noticing a pattern going on, and reviewing that footage 100% cemented me in this theory, and if I'm wrong, it's going to suck, but... um. The girls are definitely separated by personality type, judging by the color of the underwear in the background, for sure. I am 100% confident of that. And uh, we have found two girls for each. Um, we have found uh, two girls in white underwear, two girls in blue underwear, and two girls in green underwear. But only two of them were good ending girls. One of them was in white, and one of them was in green. Um, the one in white was Ayaka, and the one in green was Haruki. We have not found a good ending girl in blue, who I do believe is Riku. And those are the only three colors of underwear I've seen. And if I see a different color of underwear, I'm going to scream because then my whole theory is going to fall out the window. And I'm pro you're probably not even going to hear this if that's the case. But regardless, um, in blue, we found two different types of bad endings. We found the, uh, the one where 
you get catfish and it's a sakura um and they have sakura in their name and we have found that for blue and green but we haven't found a sakura in white yet um and then there's also the um like the older lady cougar one who we found in blue and white so if all three of them have all three different types of sub story then we have one of each color to see and also we have to befriend haruki and I hope that that is correct, and I'm using a notepad to keep track of it and kind of describing their voice in text, trying my best to do so. So uh, this is turning out to be way more complicated than I thought, but uh, regardless, first and foremost, I'm going to go um, probably buy out another restaurant worth of food down here and also go check out the, um, the Real Estate Royale, which I have been slacking on, even though I didn't want to, and I'm going to have to fight these guys with, like, no health, aren't I? Oh, goody. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very nice. Very nice. So let's head on over here to um, Ringer Hut Kamurocho. I don't know what that means. What do they sell? Nagasaki? I'm actually not totally sure what Nagasaki is. I, I, I thought Nagasaki was like a location, isn't it? What is Ringer Hut? Have we even been in here? I don't recognize this. Uh, welcome to Ringer Hut. What would you like? Okay. Uh, Nagasaki Champon. The flavors of Nagasaki condensed into one dish. The rich soup is made uh, with fresh vegetables and a wealth of other ingredients. Well, that sounds nice. Okay. Oh, do deep fried chicken. Very good. Okay, so let's just go through all these like I was doing before. We have vegetable champon. This dish, the, the dish, this dish features seven different vegetables and contains double the cabbage, ooh, bean sprouts, and onions of our standard champon. You lost me. Uh, spicy champon, eye popping champon with homemade spicy miso. Ooh, uh, light champon, uh, a small serving of champon that is popular with women. Just the thing when you are only a little hungry. <laughs> Uh, Nagasaki uh, Saraudon, uh, extra thin, crispy, deep-fried noodles packed with flavor and topped with vegetables in a thick, silky sauce that melts in your mouth. That sounds incredibly delicious. Uh, vegetable Saraudon, a sister product to the, pop to the popular vegetable champon. Eat it with a dressing of your choice. So it's like a... So this is like a salad, almost, and this is more like a soup, it seems. Um, thick Saraudon, soft, thick, flavorsome noodles make for a filling treat. Uh, light sadodon, a small plate of udon that hits the spot when you feel like a snack. I know what udon is. That's just a type of noodle. Gyoza. I love gyoza. Uh, Ringer Hut's famous gyoza. The skin has rice flour blended in for amazing crispiness. That sounds phenomenal. Deep fried chicken. Fried chicken is my number one favorite food on the planet, baby. Fried chicken made with thigh meat. It's crunchy on the outside and juicy, uh, juicy in the middle. Finger smacking good. I read that as juicy in the middle finger. <laughs> Uh, Nagasaki salad. I'm not a big salad guy, but I can eat one. Uh, thin, deep-fried noodles topped with dressing and fresh vegetables. Okay. Well, uh, sounds good. I'm going to buy out your entire store right now. All right, I have completed Ringer Hut. Oh, okay. Uh, Kamenocho's Mr. Libido. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who's this guy? He doesn't look like a barker. What the hell's a barker? <laughs> he looks shady as hell. Hope he leaves me alone. Hey there. Um, what? Telephone cards. I know you have some. You smelled them? Huh? Just give me a little peek at them. Fine. Ah, <laughs> not bad. Ooh, look at the curves on this one. Oh, God. Uh, uh. I'm so sorry. All right. I see it. Yeah, nice and clear. What are you doing? Me? I'm just looking at the cards. Why? You said you saw something nice and clear. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can look at a photo of a girl and see the whole shebang. That I hate these guys. This guy is at least more dressed than the other one. The whole shebang. Haven't you ever stared at a girl's photo long enough that her clothes started to melt away? Fucking no! Huh? You know, you get a feeling for how she'd look naked. You can imagine where all her curves are and all that. <laughs> then you go to the club where she works and see if she really looks the way you imagined. Come on, you've done that too, right? No! Uh, no. Can't say that I have. Huh? Seriously? Yeah, 
Not even once. Are you a virgin or something? What? Is that really something you just ask people? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think so. These days, everyone gets it out of the way in their teens. I don't know anyone over 20 who hasn't done it yet. Hmm. If you find any more of those telephone cards with girls on them, let me see. All I need is a quick peek. I doubt I'll find many more. And who's to say I'll even run into you again anyway? I'm always at the various girly establishments getting my freak on. But in between sessions, I might have time to meet. That's big of you. How do you have the stamina to keep that up? Well, I'm known for my boundless energy. My name's Akimoto, but they call me Mr. Libido. <laughs> Real men can go five times before they're even warmed up. Good God. No kidding. He believes him. All right, time to find a place to wreck the weasel. See ya. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad that there's another one. Of course. Of course. Okay, I believe I found Haruki again. Uh, it was a uh, girl in a green swimsuit, and it definitely doesn't sound like the Sakura from before. Uh, we can meet in front of the theater. Okay, you better come soon, though, or I might take uh. off. I'll be there soon. I'm Kiryu, by the way. That's a cool name. I'm Sayuri, but you can call me Sayu. Okay. Okay, so this is a third girl in green. What will you be wearing? A hot red outfit. I hope you find me. A red outfit. Got it. Okay. By green, I'm talking about the underwear, not about the outfit after the fact. They're different, but ugh, it's so complicated. Okay, so uh, for green, we didn't have a, a cougar yet. So if this is a, a cougar, a mother's touch, it sounds like it might be. I think I cracked the code. Sayuri might be here already. Hmm? Yup, it's, uh, it's looking kind of familiar. A red outfit, she said. Is that her? Well, her hair's not done up. Hold on. Is that woman really, Say really Sayuri? She sounded a lot younger over the phone. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That's not her. There's no way a woman that old had that voice. Huh? <laughs> Hold on a second. Maybe it's... Sayuri's mom? That could be it. She might be Sayuri's mom. I said I'd meet her. Better introduce myself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Have you not learned your lesson yet? This is the third time. From out close, she's even older. Are you... kiryu son? Oh, no. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> May I ask if you are Sayuri's mother? Oh, Kiryu-san, I love your sense of humor already. It's me, Sayuri. I told you to call me Say Sayu-chan, remember? Ah, uh, I see. What's wrong? Why did you suddenly get so stiff and formal with me? I was taught to respect my elders, ma'am. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I'm no older than Say, an older sister to you. We're not that far apart. Sister, you could be my mother, lady. Shall we then? Uh, excuse me? Where are we going? Somewhere nice. A n nice place? <laughs> uh -huh. Again. Okay, well this 100% confirms that there is at least those three types of endings for each color. Au revoir, my telephone boy. See ya, lady. Appreciate it. This never happened. This never happened. <laughs> Too bad. Third time's the charm, man. Well, I found Mr. Libido again in the Aww. same spot. I bet she's a virgin. I can smell it. I wish I didn't talk to you. Hey. Oh, hey there. We keep running into each other here. You really spend all your time at places like this, huh? <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> anyway, how's it going with the telephone cards? Show me what you got. Uh, okay. Woo! All these girls are super hot. Which one's your favorite? Well, I don't really have one. Same. <laughs> yeah, right. No need to be shy, you big old horn dog. We're both grown men. Tell me what you really think. I hate doing this. <laughs> Fine. I guess if I had to pick one, it'd be her. Huh? 
doesn't she look like the girl from that store? The only name that I can remember offhand is Ridi Kuribayashi. Hmm? Hey, it does look like her. Oh boy, thinking of her is getting me excited. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's coming to me. I see it. <laughs> Ooh, that one took a little work. You're telling me you really saw it. You saw her naked? <laughs> oh, gotcha curious. Yeah. I didn't say that. I just don't see how that's possible. You just have to train your mind. If you looked at a photo so long you burned holes in it, you'd be able to do the same with anything else. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Stop learning from him, kid you. All right, break's over. It's high time I went to gaze upon some girls in the flesh. Later. Okay. See ya, dude. And I found him again on the way back. Hey, buddy. You're out on the prowl again, too, huh? I'm not like you. I just happen to be in the area. I have to keep tabs on what's going on around town. We're going to the telephone club, Kitty. He's got you pegged. Mm. Not, not, yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm sure if, that, if that's true, why are you working so hard to build up your telephone card collection? Let me see it. I'm not working hard. I just peg up what I find. <laughs> sure, whatever. Just hurry up and show me. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I see it. Wow. How did they get away with printing this stuff on cards, man? It's almost criminal. Don't worry, most people don't see what you do. Oh yeah? You watch a lot of porn? Not really, to tell the truth. Why do you ask? You know how they pixelate everything to censor it? Lately I've been able to see past that, too. Seriously? You can do that? As you can imagine, the first time I pulled it off, I was so pumped I got a nosebleed. Now I don't even need devices to bypass the censoring. Huh. <laughs> I'm all done. Boy, that was a masterpiece. I guess you're heading to another girly place now. You don't seem the type to stop at just looking. Now that you mention it, I do have an itch to scratch. Thought so. Okay, stay calm. I gotta keep my cool. Now, what is it my body really craves right now? Mm. Yeah, it's cougar time, baby. Well, I have the place for you. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> All right. Bye, man. <laughs> Just silence. Mush, mush. Oh, he was so excited. Well, that's the first time I've... I failed the QTE. Aha, I have found Haruki again. I was pretty sure it was her. What will you be wearing? Something red. My hair will be done up. You better not mistake me for someone else. I won't this time. I hope. God, I hope I don't have to do that again. <laughs> okay, so as we established last time, the one closer to us seems like they're wearing more of a pink than a red. And if we just if we just wait and observe, we're just gonna encounter the homeless man again, and that's just gonna be a big problem. So let's let's try the one who's actually wearing red. Let's see if that does it. It's the farther woman. Okay. Are you Haruki? Please. Kitty you son Yes, we did it. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Oh, you're pretty hot. I was sitting here worrying you'd be a total weirdo. You're not bad yourself. Even after we talked? Hey, Haruki, who the hell are you? Oh, who's this bastard? Someone you know? Well, he's an ex, I guess you could say. But I broke up with him a long time ago. The hell? How much did you make me drop on you, you gold-digging shrew? We broke up because of all your fooling around. You were the worst. Fuck off. I'm not leaving until you pay back every yen I spent on your whiny ass. Hey, give it a rest. Who the fuck are you? You want a piece of this? I don't know the whole story, but trying to shake down an ex-girlfriend long after the fact doesn't look good on your part, does it? Huh? Have it your way, lover boy. You can pony up for her. Yeah, right. Okay, menacing man, once again, that's a goddamn lie. This guy's a joke. I'm gonna do the thing I've been doing lately and flip his ass, and then I'm gonna grab him and stand him up, 
And I'm gonna give him one of these, baby. I really like this combo. <laughs> and we're gonna come up and we're just gonna give him a nice little stomp a couple times, and he's <laughs> he's fucking toast. <laughs> Fuck. This guy's a monster. There's a lesson to be learned here. Don't even think about shaking down any ex-girlfriends again. Screw you. I got other bitches eager to please. Enjoy my sloppy seconds. What a fucking asshole. Oh my god. Kitty you son. You go. Let's go. Damn. We we won on that one for sure. <laughs> We got to look extra cool, too. <laughs> Just by clowning on our ex. That was so much fun. Yeah, I had a good time, too. I wish I could spend more time with you. Can we meet again? Well, I'm pretty busy lately. Oh. Oh, don't be silly. I'm just teasing. If you wanted to see me, I'd come running. <laughs> That's so. Here's where you can reach me. Don't forget, okay? Haruki, you got Haruki's pager number. You can now invite her to join you at certain date uh. spots. Her as well, okay. Okay, I'll be in touch. I wonder how that works, though. Great, I'll be waiting. Maybe if I look in the, uh, in the notebook, it'll be a little more clear about that. Well, that's, uh, that's two out of three. So this is what the telephone clubs are really all about. I could get used to this. We're a player. Man. <laughs> it's like I'm playing Persona. Okay. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look in the notebook and see if there's anything more about... No, this is all just real estate royale stuff. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to figure it out eventually. Oh, I found her, Riku. Uh, the uh, the good ending girl in blue, it would seem, according to the completion list. I can't wait to see you. What will you be wearing? Something blue. Oh, and I have short hair. You'll remember that, right? Blue clothes, short hair. Got it. I'll find you. Okay. Well, we found all of them on my notebook, except for... The Sakura in white, who logic dictates must exist. So I'm going to keep fishing for that, but at least we found all three of them in the completion list now. As long as I don't fuck this up, please. Hmm? And it's also a choose your... Okay, yep, okay. I totally got it figured out. She said she's got short hair and blue clothes. Is that her? I should go up to her. Wait a second. Deja vu. Times two. That's not blue. That's green. They both sort of match the description. Which one's Riku? Uh, it's definitely the girl in front. Uh, that, that other woman's wearing green for sure. This one. Come on. Please. <laughs> Riku? I think I got it. Let's go. Nothing special. We just we just go for it. Okay. Okay. I've been playing for about two hours. I know the episode is nowhere near that long with all the shit I've cut out, but I had lots of fun today. That's great. I did too. You really are a great guy. Think so? Yes, I, um... Can I see you again? Huh? Hi. Yes, sure. I'd love to go on a date with you again. She's adorable. This is my number. Aw. I'll keep in touch. Hi. Okay, I'll be waiting to hear from you. Well, we can't let her down. I gotta figure out how these dates work. She's stumbling. Don't forget, okay? I won't. She's so wholesome. <laughs> She's my favorite of the three. She's so nice. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> this telephone club thing isn't bad. For sure. Befriend Riku. All right. Well, I think that there must be a Sakura in white. So I'm going to keep hunting for that. But first, of course, it is time to collect on our businesses. Uh, Mr. Libido isn't standing over here anymore, but considering that he um, always wants to see telephone cards, I'm assuming that I have to collect more of those in order for him to show up again. Maybe? That would make sense. So I found Mr. Shakedown sleeping. And I know for a fact... So I found Mr. Shakedown sleeping. And I have been told that if I hold the button... I take more money, and I need to wait for him to wake up, or start to. Oop, okay. All right, all right. We're getting fat stacks. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go. I drained him dry. <laughs> All right, so I spent about half an hour trying to get the last girl to show up at the telephone club, and I couldn't get anything new to happen. So uh, I asked a friend on Discord, the same one that I mentioned sometimes, who helps me so I don't have to look around on the internet and get spoiled. And I also looked at a little uh, Game Facts telephone club guide. And according to both of those sources, I was completely 100% correct in my reasoning um, for how the telephone club works. I'm very proud of myself for doing so. Uh, there is a, uh, a girl with a white background named uh, Sakudako, and uh, we haven't seen her, but we don't need to because uh, they apparently all three Sakura girls only get you um, this one sub story, Sakura Shock. And you don't have to get all three of them. And we have all six of the other girls as well. Uh, two down here. And then uh, four more up here. So we are completely 100% done with the telephone club, which is awesome. And I have no idea how much I've cut out of this episode. So I think I'm going to continue onward and uh, try to finish up the Electronics King district. So uh, let's go ahead and check out what's going on. Uh, oh, aha. Uh -huh. All right, I see you. Well, let's go uh, figure out what the hell is going on. Also, I have a shit ton of money. I should probably invest that in myself. Oh my god! Whoa! I got a portable gas stove and he just... <laughs> I think that's the first time I've picked up one of those. Jesus Christ. This does not compute. I, be, I, I think your brain is fried, bro. Good lord, Kiryu. That was ridiculous. All right, so just from upgrading shops and just playing the game, we are already at 49% share in the electronics area, which is way higher than I would have expected, um, but I have just kind of been lollygagging a little bit. And considering I've done nothing in the pleasure area and I have 10%, it looks like it's pretty easy to get a high share. Um, so I'm going to go around and I'm going to purchase up a whole bunch of these buildings um, since we have a, a butt ton of money right now. And we'll see what we can do with the leftover uh, for investing in ourselves. But I really want to uh, start making as much money as possible with these first two areas. We'll save these two for later. I'll just keep collecting on the one building that I have for pleasure as we go along, but uh, I want to get these two finished. So I will see you when I find one of these uh, six buildings. Pachinko 777. Word on the street is that their machines have low payouts, but they're doing well. What should I do? Um, I mean, I guess, I guess we'll invest. Why not? Here we go again. <laughs> It's so good. I love that smile. It makes my world spin. Okay. Uh, 55%, which means that we probably should have some sort of, like, event with him. If I was a game designer, I would put it at 50. Uh, but who knows? I want to keep buying stuff. All right. Uh, Lovely Bunny. It's one of those popular cabaret clubs. I hear it does good business these days. What should I do? Oh, my God. Kiryu is, uh, is dipping into Majima's business. Uh-oh. <laughs> Very nice. Lovely bunny. What a name. Pachinko Aloha. I heard the machines here are loose, but I wonder if that's true. Uh, what should I do? What the hell does that mean, loose? I, I have no idea what that means. And that is our fifth property, and we are now at 67% in the area. Ooh, that one was new. 
I went back to Ebisu Pond to sell some things, and I realized that there was the peerless pole here that we never got. I have no idea if it's better or worse than the three poles that we already have, but you know what? When in Rome, we'll have to go super hard on fishing sometime eventually here. Beijing Chinese Eatery. They're famous for their extra crispy chow mein. What should I do? I am not a super big fan of crispy chow mein. I'm very much like softer chow mein personally, but that's just me. We are almost out of money again. Oh my god. Oh, and right next door we have a Shokichi Camera. Uh, this place sells all kinds of home electronics. What should I do? Uh, well, it looks like this is the last property that we are buying for now. Uh, though it should be more than enough. 77%? Very good. I... Y yes Yes. What? The arcade? Yes. Uh-oh. What's the matter? Who is it? Yeah. I don't know. I asked, but he didn't answer. He just said, tell Kiryu to come to the arcade on Nakamichi Street. Mm -hmm. What for? Mm. That area is the Electronic King's fair, the, the Electronics King's territory. That's a lot of S's. So it could be one of his men. And he said something like he understands the consequences if he doesn't come, right? What should we do? I'm so worried. Don't worry. Calm down. I won't let anything happen to you. I'll protect you no matter what. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Marina's my favorite. Uh, the Electronics King wants to see me. I should go to the arcade on Nakamichi Street and beat him at his own game. Are we going to literally have to beat him in a game? Oh yeah, I need to collect my money. <laughs> oh wait, I can't. Duh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm here. I own this place. Oh, that guy was... <laughs> that guy was beefing. Hmm? Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for dropping by, Kiryu-san. I don't know. The laugh made me do that voice. Who the hell are you? You work for the Electronics King? <laughs> hey, you're smarter than I thought. Guess that's why you're an upcoming businessman. I don't have time to waste on cannon fodder like you. The Electronics King inside? Right? It is inside, right? Let me through. Whoa, whoa, not so fast, newbie. Let me guess. If I want to go in, I need to get through you guys first. <laughs> <laughs> you sure are smart. I bet you think you'd hot your hot stuff since you took down the Leisure King, huh? Well, we're gonna hack and slash your ass. <laughs> that was horrible. <gasps> oh, please. Don't put yourself on a, a high platform like that. That's so bad. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other game puns, but I just... I. I'm over it already. I just want to beat these guys, and I want to get my fucking district back, baby. Well, not back. Oh my god. My commentary is so scuffed. Ugh. It's so bad. Alright, that guy's gone. Grab that. Slam him. I really like doing this move. Pick him up, and then we're gonna slam him into the building we own. Or, or, or we're not. We're gonna throw him that way. Never mind. I really wanted to beat his ass into the arcade. Oh, he's still up. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, I thought I could headbutt him multiple times, but I suppose not. Let's do that, I guess. I'm experimenting with grabbing a lot more in beast mode. Dude, you're way overpowered. Please. All right, coming through. He's good at more than one type of grind, I guess. <laughs> There he is. Are you the Electronics King? Oi. Hey, are you listening to me? <sighs> Didn't anyone teach you manners? Don't don't like don't bother someone when they're playing a game. Uh? Don't give me that. You're the one who called me here in the first place. What do you want? No need to get snippy. I only asked you to come here because I wanted to thank you. Thank me. Yes. I would like to thank you for trying to capture my domain. The real world is full of poor, foolish souls, so capturing this area of Kamadocha was easy mode, but because of that, I've been pretty bored lately. Ah, so this is really just a game to you, like literally. But now that you're here, my life is fun again, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Never expected to be thanked. I'm taking over your area, you know. 
Aren't you angry? Can't say that I am, actually. This is just a game for me. I do it for fun. Besides, I'll end up on top in the end. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> this guy's not so bad. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be sure? You've heard, right? I'm a genius with an IQ of 190, and I'm Kamadocho's best gamer. <laughs> There's no way you beat me in a video game. You might think this is some kind of game, but it's not. Thanks to you turning Kamadocho into some kind of playground for you to make money, there are a lot of real people who've been hurt. Haven't you thought about that? <laughs> now why would I do that? Have you ever thought about the feelings of the pixels you murder in a video game? <laughs> of course you haven't. Actually, I have. It's called Undertale. <laughs> You're rotten to the core, too. Now, now. At any rate, I'm looking forward to playing with you. Can you at least put up a good fight so I can have something to enjoy? Don't worry. I'll make sure to keep you on your toes. Oh, hang on a second. You came all the way over here, so do you want to play a quick round with me? Daddy. What? I heard that you had a karaoke battle with the Leecher King, so why not battle with me? Are we going to play Outrun again? <laughs> a video game battle, of course. A video game battle? <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yes, why don't we play Outrun? I'm not too good at racing games, so that should put us on a level playing field. Well, unluckily for you, I've had to get the fucking high score of, what was it, five, five million? <laughs> Multiple times, so. If you can get a higher score than me, you win. If not, you lose. What do you think? Does that sound balanced? Are we going to put part of our holdings on the line like I did with the Leisure King? <laughs> <laughs> of course. A game's no fun unless something's at stake. You accept my challenge, right? Well, it's not like you're going to take no for an answer. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, I'll start. Okay, then. Whew. Only five million points. Oh, God, I have to do that? Ugh, again? I made too many mistakes. I guess I really do suck at racing games. Okay, you're up next. I'll even let you win if you can match my score. Fine. All right. If you score 5 million points or higher, you win, and your share of the Electronics King area will increase by 10%. If you lose, it'll decrease by 10. Drive like the wind. I'll, I'll give it a shot. 5 million is where it actually gets sketchy for me. I can, I can definitely hit 4 consistently, but 5 is tough. I did really poorly. I only got about 2.9 million. Uh, I played it way too safe. Damn it, man. Uh, damn it, I lost. <laughs> Too bad. But you know, I still have to give you credit for being brave enough to challenge me. Now, as promised, I'll take a share of your properties. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll catch right back up to you, man. Well, that was a lot of fun. Games are a lot more exciting when you have a high-level challenger to play against. Okay, we're done here. I don't have a lot of free time to hang out with you. See you later. Oh, wait. Just one more thing. What is it? You're probably going to die, you know. Wow. Yeah? And who's going to kill me? Who knows? Let's just say that not everyone welcomes your efforts like I do. I'm glad you're trying hard, but you really shouldn't take the five billionaires too lightly. That's just fine by me. Whew. Tension. The Electronics King. This is all just a game to him, but he's still a tough customer, so I should watch out. It took me a while, but I finally found the last building. Uh, amusement Game U. Uh, this place is crawling with gamers, especially arcade fighting game fans. What should I do? Hell yeah. Uh, we are definitely going to buy this area. And that is uh, all of the Electronics King properties, I do believe. Let me double check real quick. Uh, yes, it does seem to be so. So now we just have to uh, to play the uh, the market game. And just from going around and fighting dudes in between collections, I got uh, enough CP, 21, to get the quick collection level 4. So we now have uh, everything in the business category, it would seem, so we can start focusing on the other two. And now I can make money as fast as possible, baby. Oh, Mr. President, I'm sorry. Could you get the phone? Sure. I have a feeling I know who it is. I have set, I have 95% in his area right now. <laughs> Hello? Greetings, Kiryu-kun. Mm -hmm. That voice. The Electronics King. What do you want? Are you free? I'd love to hang out and play a game with you. Mm -hmm. Again? Games are so much more fun when you're playing against someone. Come on, humor me. I'm at my base, okay? I'll be waiting. 
how, how do I know where your base is? Is it Sega High Tech Land? Was that by chance the Electronics King? Uh. Yeah. He wants me to play a game with him. Mm. I wonder what that means. Please be careful. Uh. Yeah. What's he mean by game? I've got a bad feeling about this. Better make sure I'm ready before heading out. All right. We are now in the end game of number two of five. Before that, though, I am running very low on health, so I want to check out a Gindako Highball Sakaba, a Takoyaki and drinks. Hello, what can I get you? Let's go ahead and see the menu. This is our drink menu. Aha. Okay, well, this isn't quite what I thought it was going to be, but uh, I, I wanted I wanted the Takoyaki, not, not all this. But you know what? When in Rome, uh, this beer tastes incredible and goes down smooth. Malts the draft. Which takoyaki would you like? Oh, I see. Okay. So to buy this place out, I have to have both stomach and drink. Uh, absolutely tasty takoyaki. Well, who am I to decline? Ooh. Interesting. I wonder how well beer pairs with takoyaki, actually. Uh, let's check out the menu again. And we have uh, the kaku highball, Yamazaki highball. What is a highball? Uh, enjoy the moment with the full body flavor of this exceptional highball. Well, that sounds good to me. Which takoyaki would you like? Uh, cheese and spicy fish roe? That sounds awful. I, I don't think I've ever wanted to eat anything less in my life. Even this Welsh onion takoyaki sounds better than that. And I, you guys know how much I don't like onions. Teriyaki and egg? We'll go with that one. That one actually does sound good. Cool. Very cool. And I may as well buy one more while I'm here, even though I'm I'm completely full. Just want to buy out all the shops for completion. Uh, we'll buy the uh, the Kaku highball, and we'll get I don't know avocado and yuzu pepper with a hint of wasabi. That sounds odd, but I would try that one. All right, here we are. I hope this is the right place. Otherwise, I don't know where your base is. It seems to be. What is that old man poster? Hi, Kiryu-kun. Thanks for coming by. Shall we get started? You like all the games that I've spent entirely too much time on. <laughs> Start what? A fighting game, of course. It's got this radical, action-packed PvP mode. <laughs> you mean an actual fight? I'm better at fighting in real life than in video games, so that sounds perfect. Are we going to bet anything this time? Yes. Let's bet all the properties that you and I own. Wow. I mean, I knew that was coming, but... Here's the deal. If you win, I give you all the properties in this area and log off the grid. If you lose, you give me all of your properties. Sound fair? Just one catch. There's no guarantee that you'll still be alive if you lose. I may not look like much, but I'm strong. I'm excited to see you fight. That's fine by me. I have no intention of losing either. <laughs> <laughs> you'll regret this. Really? You gotta bring your buddies too? What, we're not doing this one-on-one? -on -one? That's how I would have preferred it, but unfortunately, I really have to make sure I win this time. You put me in a tight spot, you see. You put yourself in a tight spot, and you're a cheater. I never calculated that I, a super gamer with an IQ of 190, would be put against a wall by some two-bit gangster. Maybe I just don't have a business acumen. Uh. Yes, I agree. Hm. It's really annoying when someone else says it. Well, anyway, thanks for stealing my area. It was fun. But you know, you kind of went too far. I'm going to have to kill you and get it back. Okay, never mind. Remember when I said this guy isn't that bad? He's, he's pretty bad. Remember, if you die in this game, you die in real life. <laughs> Let's see if you can survive. They really said it, huh? <laughs> okay. I like this song. Ooh. That little drop there? Awesome. Okay, okay, he's he's going ham. Alright, I do not have a lot of healing, so I need to be really careful. Why am I in rush? Rush is horrible. Okay, uh let's go beast. Do I have any any things I can grab? Yes. Excellent. Very good. And let's go ahead and slam this right on his damn head. Excellent. Beast is by far my strongest one right now. It is the one I have put the most money into by far. There we go. Nope, not what I want. Okay, he actually is quite strong. Surprisingly so. 
He was not lying. I mean, I knew he wasn't, but even still. Okay. I can grab him and chuck him against the damn ground and heat action him. <laughs> oh, man. This game is so satisfying when you kind of understand it a little bit more. Okay. Let's guard. Nice. Nope. Okay. Shit, shit, shit. I'm getting bodied. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter. I can just kind of plow through. You want the rest of this bike? Eat it! <laughs> Alright, uh, it looks like I have to beat Furia in order to actually finish him off or not, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Complete domination. Let's go. Only 8 mil? Really? From, the, from one of the five billionaires? You got some powerful specs there, Kid Yukun. You want another round? Yeah. No. I've had enough. You win. I'm out. As of right now, I'm pulling out of this area in Kamadocho's money game. And you're alright with that? Yeah. I lost in business and got beat fighting too. It really doesn't make sense for me to go on. Even if I did, you'll just continue to get better than me. All I did was grind for money to purchase more properties, but you devised a tactic to level up your businesses by micromanaging the time and resources you had available. <laughs> in video games, the player who comes up with his own unique strategy can beat even the most pra practiced players. Your playstyle evolved as you went, so it's only natural you'd win. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't think I did anything out of the ordinary, I just did what I could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still got beat. I set a financial high score by investing in tech stocks, that, then I got into this money game. The people who'd called me a nerd came to fear me as one of the five billionaires. I tried a lot of new things, but to tell you the truth, I'd rather play games in an arcade than sit around making billions of yen. I think I'm more suited to being a gamer than a billionaire. Probably. <laughs> I see. Kitty kun let's play again sometime. But next time, no betting. Sounds great, man. Yeah. I'm not motivated to play when nothing's on the line. Aw, oh, man. So how about you? How about, how about betting on who pays for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun. I've learned my lesson that I have zero talent at running a business. I'll go back to being a gamer. But you know, I'd still love to help you out. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, as a manager, uh, Namia Maiden has joined your team as security staff. I have no idea who that is. Some guy. Okay. I, I should have checked his manager skills. I didn't actually look at it. Uh, I wish I could do more to help you, but I can't afford to be seen doing that. I need to lay low for a bit. Why's that? Oh, uh, you're better off not knowing. Considering the media king is hidden, I'm gonna guess that guy in particular is, like, the ringleader, maybe? And these guys are scared of him? Uh, let's just say I've betrayed the five billionaires, so now friendly fire is activated. You can probably imagine what kind of danger a traitor like me would be up against. You watch yourself too, Kitty Okun. Right. Well, alrighty. Who is that? In red. Mystery man. Fighting style unlocked. Blocks. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the rush style. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I was surprised by that. Okay. Well, that is a another one of the five billionaires down. And I suppose that is going to be everything for today's episode of Let's Play Yakuza Zero Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my socials or join my Discord, they're in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time when I think we are going to check out Pocket Circuit Racing, which I think is like up here somewhere, yeah. And also uh, look into developing our fighting styles a little bit more. Uh, see you guys then.